Hello, everyone. I'm Sangeeta Kapoor from Delhi. People say I'm a multi-dimensional versatile personality because I'm a magician, mentalist, illusionist, TV and film artist. I'm trainer, grandmaster of holistic sciences, and I'm a founder of Healing Research Center and the Sangeeta School of Magic. I'm Guinness Book. Okay. I'm Guinness Book World Record holder. I belong to family of magicians. I'm Guinness Book World Record holder, and I have four world records as of now, and I'm looking for many more. Thank you. As I belong to family of magicians, all are magician in my family. Three generations are magician in my family. And all three are Guinness Book of World Record holder. First generation, my father, magician Hare Krishna. Second generation, myself. And third generation, my nephew. My journey begins when I was a child, like this. These two plain slates, nothing here. And with my magic, Today I am at TEDx, KIIT University. Thank you. To show more, can I have glasses, please? Eyeglasses? Thank you. You want to see some magic? So I'm going to keep it here, sir. Can I keep it down? Yeah. I'm going to place it here. I need your concentration. Are you ready? Yes. So concentrate with me. I need your magical powers. Some more magical powers, please. And my magical spell is Gilly Gilly Choo. Thank you. So your glasses, please. These are the magical glasses. Thank you. My journey begins when I was born as a second girl child in my family. What I am today is just because of my parents. My father, magician Hare Krishna. My mother, magician Radha Kapoor. I used to go with them on their magic shows and used to po just play with their props. My father used to observe my interest in performing magic. And one day he asked me, do you want to perform on stage? And I was so comfortable, I said, yes, why not? And to fulfill my interest, he arranged everything. He became my assistant, and I was there on stage, my solo performance, for almost an hour. And that was the successful beginning for not looking back as a female <laughs> magician. It was not so easy to survive in this male-dominating subject. But being a female, being a child magician, the lot of demand was there for my shows. I was performing continuously, sometimes twice or thrice a day. Despite of all the challenges I was facing being a female magician, so jago, jago nari, jago. And same time I was enjoying daily heights in my profession. I achieved many awards. I got honored from the former Prime Minister of India and the former President of India. And same time, from many other 
higher authorities. At that era, magic as profession was not considered girls to do. That was not something for girls to do. So there was a lot of pressure on me to do something girls generally do. Due to that pressure, I felt and I, uh, I thought, let's do something which girls generally do. I joined a school as a teacher. And after that, a music company, a general nine to six job. And I felt like all the excitement has gone out of my life. I was feeling that I got tied up in those situations. So I realized magic is my passion. So I wanted to go back to my passions and I just want to make free from these ties. I remember my magic and I said, one, two, three, gilly gilly, chu. I was out of from those ties. At the end, I realized magic is my happiness. And I feel satisfied when I see smiles on everyone's faces in the audience. I believe that if I can become a reason for someone's smile, then that means my life is successful. Thank you. I did so many TV shows. So I did movies also. I was living my life smoothly. And suddenly, life gave me a challenge again. I got a very critical disease. And there was no surety of my survival. I had to stop performing. I had to stop my work for my treatment. I was feeling very disconnected and separated. In those difficult moments, there was very strong urge in me to come back to the work again. I was keep on trying to cross those hurdles, but that was too tough. With the support of family and friend, and the strong urge of coming back to my work was there. I was keep on trying to get out from those troubles, And my magic was there. I was out of it and flourished again. Thank you. Anyone can do this. You just need some urge to do something. Your passion. After this incident, I realized Every breath I'm taking is bonus to me. So I just wanted to live it fully. I came back to my work like ever before. I flourished like ever before. And I started my work. I have two babies. One is the Healing Research Center, and another is the Sangeeta School of Magic. Let me share how the Sangeeta School of Magic I started. I remember when I was a child, a poor fellow came to my house in the night, approx, I guess, 10 p.m. in the night. And he came to me to meet me. How, he just wanted to know how a girl can, uh, a little girl can do a magic. Why can't he? Because he was doing some fake spiritual practices guided by some fake peoples. 
my father explained him magic is all about tricks magic is all about entertainment and he cried a lot my father taught some tricks to him and that was a big shock on my heart realizing what is happening so that incident made me inspired to start magic awareness program where i used to explain that magic is all about tricks there is so, no supernatural power in it and later on it became the sangeeta school of magic thank you here i train almost for the every age group about my uh, courses some are hobby courses some are professional mentalism few of my students are doing really well in their profession as a magician or as a mentalist and about healing research center when i was in school one of my school friend gave me a reiki healing session for my general back pain and that was a moment i felt her palms were so warm i thought how the palms can get so warm is it something real or the same like tricks so i started research on this subject scientifically here i provide people with a holistic help and training with my special designed detailed courses me and my many uh, students have so many success stories in sangeeta school of magic i recently trained a girl who is almost 95% blind and such a inspirational incident for both of us i did so many tv shows tv series performance in india abroad and you can also do some magic here right now you want to experience yes. so let's do something i need your concentration for this think of your passion think of emphasis of your life and send some power to me magic is all about happiness and satisfaction if you are happy you can make others happy if you are satisfied you can spread passion to everyone so concentrate your concentration and my passion can do some magic let's try it and the magical spell is itna dheere nahi gile gile chu now concentrate brain to brain let's try to do some magic ready i need your concentration little more please little more i need concentration concentrate please you need to concentrate thank you let's try one more time let's try one more time concentrate concentrate on gili gili chu keep chanting concentrate gili 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 louder gili 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 chu let me show you some more thing i feel your passion your inspiration can give you satisfaction in your life happiness in your life you need to just reach the emphasis of your life suppose this is your idea 
This is your inspiration and passion. You will feel happy when it gets fulfilled. Hmm? Don't stop here. Keep inspiration high. If you will keep inspiration high, your happiness and satisfaction will increase automatically. Don't stop here. If you want to bloom, you need to go for higher inspirations and your happiness and satisfaction will increase again. Don't stop here. You need to go for more higher inspirations. Your happiness will increase much more. You will flourish. But remember, you have to start from somewhere. To start now. Thank you. At the end, we are all looking for success, happiness, and satisfaction. So keep concentrating on your satisfaction, keep concentrating on antithesis of your life, and you will flourish like anything. Do you want to see some more? Yes. Do you want to do some more? Yes. Take out your hankies. If you have hankies, if you have scarves, if you have dupattas, you can. So remember, this is totally black. You need to chant. Gili Gili Chu is all about magic, means entertainment, tricks. So you need to wave like this. Yes, keep continue. You need to wave like this and feel your passion. If that is your antithesis of life, colors will change automatically. So get connected with antithesis of your life. Your life will change your colors. Keep smiling. Keep feeling the magic in you. Follow your profession. Follow your passion. And be happy and satisfied. Take care. God bless you all. Thank you.